That is clearly a newborn baby's cry. Where is it coming from? Did somebody give birth in the forest? Ah. Is that not in the car? What is she doing in the forest? That's somebody's child she has in that wrapper. Hey, I think Neka must have stolen somebody's child. She wants to go and sell it. No, 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 no. No, I will not allow it to happen. That's an abomination. Such things cannot happen in this village. Ah, I, I did not even wipe my my bum bum. Mm, let me. Jesus, Nick, who's, whose baby is this? This is this is an abomination. Hey, in this village, I am going to report you to the elders and the police. Please, oh, oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, 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 I am sorry, if you call me. Oh, oh, please, please, don't. trying to do? Huh? I wanted to stop me? of this village will bury you alive for killing your newborn baby. I don't understand. You, you, you have not reported me to the elders or the police yet. Yes, I haven't. But that can change in a minute. But, but why, why am I tied up like this? Because I don't want you to escape or make another attempt at my life. Why I was thinking of how best to make good use of this opportunity you presented to me. Oh. oh. I will do anything. 
just say it. I will do anything to the, to the last breath. I, I, I swear, please, do not expose me. Don't tell anyone. I, I don't want to be buried alive. Please. I will do anything. Shh. You just said you would do anything. Yes. If I don't expose you. Yes, anything. Don't expose me, please. Anything you want. I had to go to your house to confirm if you were telling me the truth. And when I got to there, I saw where you delivered. But... How come? Your tummy was... Flat. A few days ago, I saw you and you were nine months... I, 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 wore, I wore a special kiddo. I didn't want anybody to know that I was pregnant. I tried aborting this baby, but it just couldn't go. I am an orphan. Hmm. Having a child will be a burden. Paul, please forgive me. Don't tell anyone, please. I beg you. Please. Don't do anything. I will do whatever Paul tells me to do. Oh, I will do whatever Paul tells me to do. From this moment. From this moment. Until my last breath. Say it! Until my last breath. If I ever think otherwise. If I ever think otherwise. Let me drop dead before I pronounce my first word in disobedience. Say it! Let me drop that before I pronounce my first word in disobedience. So I vow. So I vow. And seal this vow. And seal this vow. By drinking from the cup of my own blood. Say it! I drink it from the cup of my own blood! Good. This is exactly six months we introduced sex into our deal. You blatantly refused to either allow me come to your end or even come to my for it. What is so special about this place in the forest that you always insist we do it? Memory is a slave of conscience. I don't get it. This was the very spot where you buried your newborn child. So I bring you here to have sex on top of your baby's grave as a reminder that you are under my bondage for the rest of your life and... And only death. Confirm me from that bondage. Mm. That's good. You already understand the whole thing. And um, what was that smell? 
that I almost got choked with while we were doing it. What was that? It was terrible. I understand that you love humiliating me. But what you got today is what you deserve. Because when you called, I told you I haven't had my bath. But you insisted that I come here. Henceforth, take your bath very early in the morning and keep it clean for me. Else, you won't like what I would do to you if I ever perceive such other again. Ah, was you? Hey, bro. Yes, bro. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Um, yeah, you get one racket like that. I want to make we go online. No, pro okay, no wahala. So where are you there? It's all right. Just wait there. I'll be there before you know it. All right, bro. One love. Bye for now. Oh, I, I like the way you do it to me, especially when you're doing it from behind. You're really good at it. You are indeed more miserable than I thought. Gosh. Does hear my guy? Follow, follow. Does hear what, mama? My Where homie, I'll follow. Paleti eh? I'm okay. I'm alright. What's happening? So what? Hey. Agnes. How are you? Long time. Good afternoon. It's fine. It's, it's good been afternoon. a long time. Good afternoon. Where, where are you coming from? I'm coming back from school. We're done with our first semester. Oh, that's nice. How was school? Very well, sir. Oh, that's nice. My regards to your people, okay? Okay, sir. You're All welcome, right. yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Oh, okay, take care. Okay, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye, sir. Yeah. Okada. Small, small, though. Small, small. <laughs> Dossier. This girl abakami si. Hey! Mwa abakami si. Dossier. Agnes is something else. She's not just beautiful. Agnes is reserved and well behaved compared to this other umu atakate elo juchana village. And do you, do you know she is the toast of many men? Yet, she is not involved sexually with anyone in this village. Paul. Hey. Paul, is this you? Agnes. Paul. Agnes. I'm totally surprised. Agnes. Coming from a serial womanizer like you. In fact, a chronic womanizer like you. Who never had anything good to say about any girl in this village? Wow. I'm impressed. Paul, tell me the truth. What is going on? Dossier. Your guy here is in love. I am in love with Agnes. Can't you, can't you see it on my face? You. In love. <laughs> How? What do you mean? Dossier. Listen. I am madly in love with Agnes. Yes, Dossier. I am madly in love with Agnes. Yes. You, you see, I've been looking for a way to talk to her. Uh, to make her understand how I feel. Uh, and I, I want you to... Imagono. Pico. Paul, are you serious? Paul, my friend, in love. How? I see, see, uh, dossier. If Agnes should say yes now, 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 I am going to make her my wife, my beloved wife. 
and I promise I will spend the rest of my life with her. I will never chase any other woman in this village, does he? Please, save your friends so. All right, congratulations. Hey, hey, Bob. I'm very, very surprised. Congratulations, my brother. She is not my woman yet. Now. I think he, nah, well, you said you were in love with her and you're ready to make her your wife. So I said congratulations. Eh, hey, see, see, that is the issue right now. Uh, I had to call Ebuka on the phone, your younger brother. You know Ebuka and Agnes, they are quite close. Eh? What are gonna, uh -huh. I had to ask him if there is anything going on between him and Agnes. Mm -hmm. But to my surprise, he said no. Mba, there's nothing going on between them. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Do you remember Agnes used to be my student? Yes. Now. In fact, she's one of my students when I was teaching at that village secondary school. I remember. When I got disengaged, she joined some of the girls who came to take extra moral lessons because of their jump exams. Then, Ebuka finally helped her gain admission in the university where he attended. One thing led to another, they became very close and they've been friends ever since. But I don't think they have anything sexual going on. If they have, Ebuka would have told me. Yes, he would. I, I, I trust Ebuka for that. Uh, he would. Uh, but now, um, you, you and I know you are closer to or close to Agnes. You are in a more comfortable state to talk to Agnes on my behalf. You know she respects you a lot as her former tutor. <laughs> so you want me to help you talk to Agnes? Mm. Mm. Paul, mm? on one condition. She will not be a number in the statistics of girls you have used and dumped in this village. Promise me. How can you say such a thing now? Have I ever told you I am in love with any girl in this village before? Eh? Does it? If you succeed in getting her to agree, mm, I swear, mm, I will never, never, never chase any other woman in this village. All my life, it shall be Agnes and I till old age. Mm, I swear, does it? I swear. Does it save it so? Because save it so. I'm serious about this girl, though. All right. I'll try to help you talk to her. Yes, that's my guy. Eh? Does he want mama? Paletti for mama. Atakate lo wa. Agnes, this is very difficult for me to say. But trust me, you're not going to regret it. In fact, in saying this to you, I'm staking my integrity. Brother Dozi, since we got here, you've been going on and on without saying anything. I'm, I'm only trying to show you some respect. You've shown me enough respect. Go ahead and tell me why you invited me here. I won't pick offense, I promise. Okay, thank you. Well, it's not about me. It's about my friend, Paul. About your friend, Paul? Yes. He wants you to give him audience. Audience to tell me what? He really likes you and he wants you to give him a chance. Agnes. Agnes! Agnes! Agnes, I'm talking to you! Hmm. Are you serious? Just like that? Just like that. In fact, I almost followed her into her family house just to find out what I did or said wrong to her to have warranted such disrespect from her. But guess what? She didn't say a word. She didn't talk to me. She even walked out on me. I stood there embarrassed and confused. As we speak, I'm still very embarrassed. What did we go? Well, it is indeed confusing and embarrassing, like you said. But does it come to think of it? Hmm? What could be the reason behind her disrespectful behavior towards you that she respects so much? Paul, to be honest, I have no idea. I have no idea. In fact, I've called her 
over 20 times. She has refused to take my calls or return them. I'm tired. That too. Ha! I think we're serious, so. <laughs> what is going on now? Guinea name is. Uh, what you see, does it? I. I. I love that girl. Uh, I love her so much. Uh, and I am willing to do any. Hey, listen, Paul. I've spoken to my brother Ebuka about her. And he promised to find a way out for you. You didn't want me. Ebuka, yes. your brother. Yes. Ebuka that is in faraway Katsina, serving the country. He returned earlier today. Hmm? Yes, he's done with his postgraduate national service program. Really? <laughs> Ebuka! My man! Ebuka! Ebuka, oh, come, come! Hey, Ebuka is back. Yes, so he's now a big hey, boy. We... <laughs> come here, my guy! <laughs> Eh? See, Buka. <laughs> you're not Buka. Come, come here. Is, is, is that why you're greeting me like. Uh... <laughs> eh? Congratulations to you, my brother. Thank you. So you much. really tried. You know, before you were half graduate, now you're a full graduate. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. I don't know why you did what you did. And I do not call you out here to blame you for that. You know, I respect you a lot. But my brother was really embarrassed by what happened. I was embarrassed to Ebuka. In fact, I was doubly embarrassed. Embarrassed by what he said and what I had to do to him out of embarrassment. I don't understand. I mean, the last leg of your last sentence is confusing to me. I was expecting your brother to say that he loved and wanted me to be his girlfriend. You mean... I mean your brother has been my secret crush for some time now. I do not just respect him. I have also fallen in love with him. It's him I want. It's him I want to be his girlfriend and not his friend Paul. I went to him yesterday, busting with expectation that he was about to grant my innermost heart desire. You know, I, I was almost screaming out to him to say it when he was beating around the bush like men do when they want to broach such topics with women and I was also getting ready for our first kiss and then he killed it all <laughs> by telling me it, it was his friend Paul what? Ibuka I went home crying right inside my heart I cried my heart out in disappointment the whole of the night. How could he? Wait, Agnes, are you joking or something? How dare you? How dare you? Hey, 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 Agnes, Agnes, please, please, please. I am sorry. I didn't mean to make light of what you just told me. But this is very confusing to me and it is complicated because Paul is in love with you and, and he's my brother's friend. I... You know what? You know what? I'm going home with you to see your brother. I will apologize to him myself. And then talk with him about this face to face. I didn't mean to do what I did. I'm sorry I embarrassed you. But if I had spent one second more with you there, I would have said and done things I'd regret for the rest of my life. Like, this lady standing here has never been this serious all her life. I love you. It's you I want, not your friend Paul. Agnes, you need to stop, please. Just stop. Stop this joke. I'm not joking. I love you. Oh. Agnes, Paul is my friend, my childhood friend. 
What you're asking me to do will only test our friendship beyond measures. If I as much as give it a listening ear, I do not want to betray my friend. But do you at least like me? Well, I, I like you, but I... No, but I, please. You like me. And that's enough said. Um, be just that. Consider me your sorority. Agnes. Ag Agnes. What's wrong with her? Is she okay? You just took the two questions right out of my mouth. Agnes, Agnes, what is the meaning of this now? Why, why are you kneeling down? We are in public for Christ's sake. What was this now? I'm not going to stand up until you promise me. Promise you what again? What, what do I have that you want me to promise? Promise me? No, no, no. Swear to me that you will do whatever I beg of you. Huh. Okay, okay, fine. I, I swear, I swear, I swear. Stand up. You, you, you swear with everything you hold there and hey. every honor in you. Yes, yes, I swear. But you will do whatever I ask, no matter how difficult it is. Yes, I swear with everything I hold there and everything I cherish in this life. Just stand up. Stand. Thank you so yes. much. God will bless you today, tomorrow, and forever. Should I say amen? Amen, amen, amen. But what was it you wanted to say that made you to go down on your knees? I want you to follow me to Dozi and tell him that you were leaving me for him. What do you mean? Ha! Me? Follow you? You must be joking, Agnes. No, 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 I'm not joking. I'm not joking, sir. It is him I love. It is him I want to be his woman for better, for worse. Agnes, made to fear. Clean your mouth. What did you just say? Look, I respect you a lot. But I can't date you. Yeah. I have secretly admired Dozier for over a year now. Please do it for me. Do as you've just sworn to me. One is difficult. I, I swore without knowing what you wanted to ask for. Then I'm not going to get off from here until you hey. do what you promised me. Else the entire villagers will gather here for you and I. Agnes, what is it now? Why do you want me to accept such a request? Eh? You know me, I, I, I love you too. I, you're telling me it's just does you, you want. But you swore. Please. I, I, I said yes without knowing what you wanted to ask, ask for. Well, see, it's obvious you've made up your mind. What can I do now? Stand up. Because stand up. See, people are coming. People are beginning to return from the market. Stand up. Just stand up. Just stand up. Ah. Please, let's go now. Ah, ah. What's it, what's it? Uh, this palm wine, it doesn't oh. look fresh. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I said that one, don't they miss something for this palm wine? But it's too sweet. It doesn't taste fresh. I know what you want to say. 
There won't be need for that, okay? Can I have your hand? My hand, I beg your pardon. Give me your hand. What's wrong with this one? Paul, what are you doing? Paul, what are you doing? What is the meaning of this? My dear friend, from the deepest part of my heart, I am willingly giving her to you. You are the one she is in love with, not me. As a matter of fact, I swore it to her with every honor in me. Please, reciprocate her love. Paul, are you all right? Is everything okay with you? What are you doing? What every dear friend should do, under the circumstance which the pull of her heart has created for you and I, Dozier. Her love for you is pure and noble. Please cherish that. Paul, in God's name, have you asked me questions like, Dozier, do you love her? Is the feeling mutual? If it is not yet mutual, then you must learn how to love and take good care of her. Dozier, if you cherish our friendship, please reciprocate her love. I beg of you. Paul! Ebuka. I understand how awkward this is for Dozier. Come, let's give them some space. Come. Come. Fautif. Oh. What are you doing in my house? Why are you calling me names? Onyoshi. A very heartless one at that. Hey! How dare you come into my compound and you are calling me names? Why are you calling me names? Oh. How dare you? He shock you. Eh? He shock you. Eh? Let me tell you. I saw you four days ago at the blind woman's house. Uh-huh. <laughs> I recorded you while you were stealing this fowl. Hey! How could you? A blind woman's fowl. Ijoka, Ori in Kegigara University. Hi! I'm sorry. 
please don't expose me please i beg you i will do anything for you please if you spare me the shame well um, i saw your daughter agnes on my way to this place yes she was going to the market i don't want her to come here and see us having this discussion okay wait what happened was he t she told me everything what happened uh, before the her relationship with uh, Dubem. Please, I can still get her back to you, please. Ah, get who? Yes. I was never with Agnes. Yes, Agnes is now with my friend Dozier. Someone Dozier has knocked left, right, back, front. As I speak to you, Dozier has knocked everything inside Agnes's body. Now, oh, Kako Koenye Magnes. Ta! Please, what are you up to? Please. Well, Onyoshi Okoko. Since you decided to steal a blind woman's fowl, when today is not your birthday, it is our Lord's birthday, and you're busy stealing fowl as if it's your birthday. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Continue, but you will hear from me soon. Hey. Hmm? I hear you, Professor Nwuka Onyori, number one. <laughs> you deserve a crown. <laughs> Let me take one final shot. Smile for me, Mama. <laughs> Smile now. You don't want to smile. I will shout to. I will shout to. Smile. Eh <laughs> Now so. Ah, the fowl is dead. I would have asked the fowl to smile too. <laughs> I got one. God, you are. Hey. Come far. My God! Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh, oh. Does he? I'm alright. Uh -uh. What's up with the chicken? Uh, well, it's Christmas. I'm trying to make some chicken stew. With this in it. <laughs> that sounds good. I hope you add this to it. What's up? Does he? What is it? Why are you looking at her like that? I have never seen a girl as wayward and lousy as she is. I hate her so much. Ah, does it? I don't know you to be so expressive of your word when it comes to other people. <laughs> What's going on? How can you name Nothing, nothing. I just hate her to a ball busting point. Okay. <laughs> oh, let, let me ask you. What if you find out mm. she and Eboka or someone very close to you are dating. What Don't even say that again. That's impossible. I know my brother. He can't do a thing like that. Okay. What if by any wide chance that becomes the case? Paul, I said it's not going to happen. Let's change this topic, I beg. Nah. Uh -uh. Okay. Oh, you schools around the... Omo, you sound so sure of what you hold against this girl. Well, I leave you to that. Uh, let me quickly go home, drop something, then I will come back to the house. Come so back to which house? This chicken together and come uh, back to which house? To your house now. Which chicken? This is Christmas, bro. What chicken are you talking about? This, this is one? the Lord's birthday, bro. The one you bought. Uh, and come now. Your thing is my thing now. Hungry man. The one that I will be the one to kill the chicken. The one that you bought. Does it? Hunger, Don't hungry, joke. Hungry man. Long no wahala. Let me be a hungry man for now. I'm coming oh, before you know it. In fact, I'm running home with speed. The speed of light. I'm coming back. Okay, bro. No problem. Now, I'll let you know once um, they send their own uh, uh, part of the deal. <laughs> No wala, no wala. Okay, no problem. I'll call you back. Let time leave me, okay? Good. What took you so long? I am sorry. I told you I have something on fire when you called, but you insisted I come over. Today is Christmas. Don't ever keep me waiting again. I'm sorry. Don't think of it. I'm sorry. I am ready. For what? 
Sex. Isn't that the only reason you invite me over here? Will you cover that smelling thing? Cover it! Hurry up! I don't have time for that shit. Good. Now you listen to me. I ask you to come here because I want to give you an ultimatum. An ultimatum? You have between now and 31st of January to make Ebuka become your boyfriend. Make him fall for you. Ebuka, does this younger brother you know, it, it's, it's not possible. <laughs> Whenever you send me to sleep with married and unmarried men in and outside of this village to make money and bring to you, does they usually cut me in the act? And this hatred for me is so obvious that you, you cannot even miss it. I can see the disgust on his face whenever I, I get close to him. I know. You know? He told me. He told you? Mm hmm And you're still ordering me to go after his younger brother. <sighs> Paul, does he will not accept the reality of Ebuka becoming my boyfriend? After all the disgusting things he has seen me doing. Please, don't ask for the impossible. I can do something else for you and not that. Now you listen to me. Do whatever you must to make it possible. Involve the most malevolent of spirits if you want. But you must make Ebuka fall in love with you. And do not forget the oaths you took and its consequences if you do not adhere you, to my instructions. You don't need to remind me. <sighs> Good. That was what I expected. Good luck. Hmm. Hey, Buka, if it's something we can discuss over the phone, I won't have been insisting we meet and talk about it physically. Listen, I promise you, it, what I have to tell you won't take up to five minutes of your time. Blackmail? God forbid! Why would I why would I want to do a thing like that? Okay. I swear with everything I bought sacred that I have no intention of blackmailing you. Trust me. You have agreed to meet me. Yes. Yes, my yes, my place, yes, my place. Thank you so much. Ah, thank you for agreeing to meet at last. God bless you, Ibuka. God bless you so much. I, I appreciate. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, I'm. I'm right. I'm right home. Yes, I'm. I'm at home. You're coming right. Right away. Yes. God bless you. God bless you so much. Thank you. I hope this perfume will work as the Dibia said it would. After so many weeks of trying and failing to as much as to get him to hear me out. This is a great opportunity to get Tebuka to become my boyfriend. Just as Paul wanted. And I promise myself I'll not mess up in any shape or form this time. God, please. Please forgive me. Forgive me for turning that poor liquor just to get him back to the man. Please help me, God. Just help me so that this perfume will work.
Mecca. What in God's name are you? Does it? Does it? Stand, 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 stand up. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to where? What happened? Ebuka and Nega happened. Let's go, no time. Paul, I've always warned you to stop mentioning my brother and that horse name in the same sentence. What is it? You're here warning me not to mention their names in the same sentence. Why, as I speak to you, Ebuka is banging in Nega. Left, right, up, down. Stand up, let us go. But what type of joke is this now? And who says I'm joking? What type of joke is this? Do I look like a joker? I am telling you, Ebuka and Neka, they are dating. They are lovers. Stand up, Ebuka will get that girl pregnant too. Let's go. Where are they? At Neka's house, you're still asking me. Ah. Go where? Let's go home. Go where for what? Are you crazy? Look at this. Look at this small boy. Is it? Is it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Are that, you not want to see the wife from that me? bitch? Is your girlfriend, right? She's my girlfriend. Yes. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? Paul, 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 please stop. Stop, 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 uh, um, what is it? Yeah. Mama, okay. No problem. 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 Don't talk too much. I don't want you to give under me. Come on. God don't punish me. It's your happiness. Chief, chief. Guys, wait. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Cook wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm follow you. Come. You don't want to give me my money. I'll be waiting to happen. Boss, calm down now. Shall I don't tell you I will give you your money? Yeah. Huh? Calm down. Only because of 10k ago, can't they harass me anywhere now? I'll give you. Just give me two weeks. Calm down. After all, now, federal government, they see their old people. See, you be like he's a crazy so Get! 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 Forgiving spirit inside you, but wanting for sure. One day, monkey go go market, you ain't no go return. People know, beware of him. He's a war, he's sheep clothing. All I go be He is not whom you think he is. Opportunity, no they pass you by. Evil masters, that's who you are. Walking to and fro, looking for who to devour. With your evil, follow why? On 
Eh, buka. What happened? Huh? Who did this to you? Bros, it's Jia and Otaka. So Choma wasn't lying. Where are they? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Show me! I spoke with the DC of this morning and he reliably told me that those two taps will not be granted there. This should serve as a lesson to me. It is high time you stop bringing troubles upon yourself. My, tell him. I don't know why Chukwebuka has chosen to bring in problems to me, pains in this house. Tell him, oh, Mama. It's okay. I believe he has learned his lessons. Next time you try this nonsense, Ebuka, next time you try this nonsense, I will rain curse on you. I will curse you. I will so curse you. What kind of nonsense is this? Mama, it's okay. It hasn't gotten to that. Everybody knows Jimmy is a serial troublemaker. It's okay. I thank God for sparing your lives. And at this juncture, I will leave because we have a meeting, serious meeting with the PG of our community. No, thank you so much. Thank you so much for showing up on us. I'm very grateful. Thank you, it's my duty. I'm going to do my duty. Uncle, thank you so much. I almost ran out of my skin the moment Shoma called to inform me. I felt scared I was going to lose you. It's okay, my love. I'm here now. But why and how did Ibuka get involved with Touts? He's a guy I knew to be brilliant and selective with the kind of people he mingles with. I really can't tell, my love. All I know is I have to work harder. I have to put more efforts to ensure that I provide for us. Ibuka doesn't have to mingle with touts to earn a living. I have to double my hustle. It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Just take it easy. Alright? Thank you. If only you knew what is coming after you, Dozier and Agnes. If only you knew what I have in stock for two of you. If only. Uh, sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, no, no. Baba Po, nothing. Forget. Forget that one. So, what's the latest? Good. Ebuka. You remember Ebuka, right? Yeah, uh, Dozier's uh, younger brother. Good. He's going to approach you guys for a loan of 10,000 Naira. For who? We are, we'll go from get that kind of money. 10,000 Naira. Not to worry. I have it here with me. Yes, that's the sum of 10,000 Naira. Make sure you handle your own side of the deal. Well, uh, as for me and Jimmy, our side go tight. But the part of what I want here now be say, how much be the deal? 50k. 50k? Yes. Deal. It's a deal. A done deal. Good. Now, waiting be the racket. Beautiful. Ebuka came to me to lend him the sum of 10,000 Naira. I asked him to come over to the house later for the money. So when he comes, I would direct him to you people. 
that is when you lend him this 10,000 naira. You know, he has been having some issues with his elder brother, does he? He has been the one funding him. Good? Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yes. Fine. So, give him the money and we'll pick it up from there. Okay. Like I said, our side go tight. Jimmy, I will relate to Jimmy about this. Hmm? But be rest assured, say, you go walk. Good. No wala. Papalo! If only does he knew that I manipulated the Neka into going to a very notorious Dibia to procure a very powerful charm with which she charmed Ebuka into falling in love with her. So deeply in love that, despite the heated opposition Dozier raised against their relationship with the total support of his mother, their uncle and his family, Ebuka still went back to Neka the next day, begging and crying to her not to leave him. They have been secretly seeing each other since then. Not just that, I equally used Ineka to manipulate Ebuka into spending a lot in less than three weeks after they started dating in his desperation to please her. The 10,000 Naira that got him into the net of Jimmy and Otaka was a loan he had to take in order to get something for Neka. Something she insisted he must get for her else she will leave him. I got her to make that demand and insist on it. Yes, I am behind everything and that was not even all. As I was starting the fire that is now burning in your family and threatening to consume all of you in the family, I have been busy too plotting a similar thing in Agnes's own end. You want to know the reason behind my unscheduled visit? Yes. I have decided on what I want you to do for me. Else, I will release those videos to the elders and the police. Tell me, what is it? Tell me what you want me to do, and I will do it right away. Uh, you don't have a choice. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any choice. Good. I want your daughter, Agnes to leave Dossier. Oh my God! Paul! What has God got to do with this? What you're asking is very, very impossible. You, Paul, please. Dossier and my daughter are deeply in love. Please, it's very, very impossible. You have to make it possible. How? Except if I poison my daughter. Or you poison Dossier. I don't want anybody dead. I only want does yet to suffer. Yes. yes. God, please help me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to do, honestly. Eh? You, this, this, these people are so much in love. I don't know how to separate them. If you have any idea, please, you, you bring it so that we can work together. I don't even want to kill my own daughter. I have a wonderful idea. Go ahead and tell me, please. Good. I have spoken to Victor to pick interest in your daughter, Agnes. Victor, the son of the rich man, Mr. Koye. Bam. Ah. Yes. I want you to do your possible best for Victor to take Agnes from Dozier. No, that would be impossible. That would be very, very impossible. You don't have a choice, Madam Muka. You see, your daughter Agnes don't like Victor. At the sight of Victor, she, 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 she gets irritated. That is where you come in. You don't have a choice. You must make this thing happen. Make your daughter to leave Dozier. Okay? But I told you. I told you. If you don't do it, I will release those videos to the elders and the police. And you know... What will come after that? Goodbye. Oh, please. What problem is this? What kind of problem did I put myself into? What is all this? 
How am I going to separate two of them? It's very, very impossible. Madam Inwuka and Victor have since gone into alliance for me to achieve my desire. I have been supplying them with ideas. It is only a matter of time and crisis will become the second name of you too. Fools, you rejected me for him, Agnes. But I swear with my life that you will never have peace as long as I live. Both of you will never. I'm from looking for who to devour With your evil, Paul Owai Oku imu yere, okwanya kana wosera Kika neche, onye mako gadiye Achiche meli fo e poroke Eh? Maka why? What for? So Jimmy attacked you in that manner because of common 10,000 naira. Obelego! Hey, my love. Is it that bad? Babe, if it was that common, I would have given it to him now. Huh? Though he was wrong to have attacked me and injured my elder brother because of the money I borrowed from him. Yes, yeah, so what about him that goes around the village snatching people's phones and handbags or on your ship? Is he not a thief? That one is his lifestyle. Eh, yeah, thank God you're more like him. Although my brother warned me to stay away from him, but I didn't listen. Now I've learnt my lessons. No, sorry. No. Ordinarily, I would have come to the house to sympathize with your brother. Mani, man, your brother does not like me. So he's like pouring salt to the injury. It's better I sit in my house, or oh, to avoid insults. I don't know, some bad. Salutation is not love. Mm. Yeah, if you love and respect me, then you should also respect and acknowledge my elder brother. Mm. Okay, I've heard you. Mm. Sorry, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, look at you. Hi, baby. Hey, my one and only boyfriend in this whole village. My own baby. Hmm? What call ma? Sorry, oh. And mm. um, baby, I want you to give me 5,000 naira for my hair, dear. Huh? Baby, you're not saying anything. Don't worry, let me break it down for you. I want you to give me 5,000 Naira. Huh? Baby, yo. you don't have it. No 5,000 Naira, no new. Selfish, you have no forgiving spirit inside you. But one thing for sure, one day, monkey go go market, you you no go return. People, oh, beware of him. He said, What is she clothing? Ole go be out. He is not whom you think he is. I need some assistance.
I need to sell my tricycle. Yes, I want to add the money to my savings for something important. Uh, first of all, I want to ask. All of a sudden, you've made up your mind to sell your tricycle. And what is that something that has propelled you to sell your tricycle just like that? I need to relocate my brother from this village. He's gradually becoming a tout. And I'm not going to let that happen. So I need him to go to somewhere that will be useful to him. He needs to start walking. Besides, the Keke rider is not being accountable. And I can't continue to use him. Um, does it? Let me remind you that our currency has no value. So I don't think you will be able to generate the kind of money you need after selling that keke. You understand? And so I want you to think about it. Because after selling the keke, you might not be able to generate enough money that will guarantee Ebuka a new start in a new location. So Paul, what's your point? If you ask me, I suggest you sell your portion of the family land. Hmm. At least that one will generate a huge amount of money. With that, you can send Ebuka overseas to further his studies. You know how smart your kid brother is now. That boy is very intelligent. Yes, leaving him here in Nigeria will be more detrimental to his future, as you, you're seeing already. And that is my honest suggestion you know, as a friend and as a brother. Paul, you have a point. But the challenge I have is my uncle. He's nah. not going to buy the idea. Your uncle. <laughs> we are talking about your brother's future here. Yeah, you're considering what your uncle will say or what he will say. Listen, let me tell you. You and Ebuka are grown-ups. Uh, make up your mind on it collectively. You both can do the undoable. Uh, stand on your ground. your uncle. Talking about your brother's future. To generate, make you generate enough money. Dozier, I am warning you to abort the idea of selling that ancestral land. Hey? You can't afford to start disagreeing with your uncle. Yes. Oh. Mama, spare me that boring uncle talk. Why do you keep calling his name? Mama, does he know how we survive as a family. What is he doing for us? Is he feeding us? No! Chidozia. This was the same way you chose to be adamant. When I told you that it is a bad idea for you to buy a tricycle that you cannot drive by yourself. Or at least give it to your brother. Mama, that is impossible. Why? I cannot allow my educated brother to become a commercial tricycle rider. We're not that stupid. Chiduze. So, you're telling me that there are no other educated people out there doing mina jobs to survive? Let me tell you, you have to put away this unnecessary ego and take advice for once. I am warning you. Don't ever try to set that land against your uncle's wish. Brother. I think Mama is right. Maybe we should weigh other options. I mean, find other ways to generate money instead of selling that family land. Ebuka, are you out of your mind? Are you the one saying this? I'm doing everything in my power to ensure that you have a good life. You have a better life. And you're saying this to me? You're talking about other options? Okay, no problem. 
I am actually on my way to Uncle Unkando's house. If you like, come with me. If you like, sit down here and talk about other options. Dozier. Chi Dozier. And I also understand what my brother is also trying to say. I think it's best we put our heads together and find a way out of this. Because even me, I'm not happy like this. I'm a graduate. I should, I should be working. I should be supporting my family. Okay? Please, let's just find a better way. Because as it is now, that family land is the only thing we have. That's the only thing we can even generate money from. I thought by now, your mother would have told you what my stand in this matter would be. The land in question is our ancestral land given to us by our father, your grandfather. I cannot sit here and approve the sale of our ancestral land. Eh? Uncle, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not saying I want to sell the entire land. I said and I'll reiterate. I want to sell our own portion of the land. And these are my reasons. Ebuka has graduated from the university. There's no job. He doesn't have anything doing. My mother is equally struggling with her own business. And I am not financially stable right now. So I want to sell our own portion of the land. So I can sort out my family problems. Um, <clears throat> my sons, we understand your plight. But uh, coming to a land like that, eh, you will need the complete approval of the source of this kindred for you to be able to sell that land. Without that permission, no way. Uncle, would you rather I watch my family suffer in hardship when there's a portion of land, our own portion of land, I can sell to raise money? Chidozia and Chukwebuka. There is no way an elder like me can stay at home and watch a she goat deliver an Istita. Mubuoki, I'm no, no, no. No amount of pressure will make me succumb to selling that land, be it known to you. Uncle, hey. I've heard you. Thank you very much. But for your information, I came here out of respect for you. I came to inform you first because you cannot stop me. I know my right. I am trying to sell our own portion of the land, not yours. And uncle, you cannot stop me. I know my right. Ebuka, let's go. Ebuka. 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 Chinekene. When did this boy become so arrogant and disrespectful for him to walk out on us. When? Huh? Mizekwe. Mizekwe, don't mind. Only what they say is that you know it. Mm. When day breaks and they found your house begin to pursue you. Ah, Run as fast out. as your legs and carry you. Wrong. Because you don't know if it developed to the overnight. I know them. I know what they're doing. Mm. I understand them clearly. You know why they're doing all this? Mm -mm. Because I have no male child. I have no son <laughs> like them. That is the reason. Don't say that. But I no problem. Mm -mm. Don't go that way. Don't go there. Very soon, we will know who is the true leader of this family. <laughs> Hi! Be fast. So that I try to keep the point Hey. 
Eli. My brother. I thought I heard you eat before going out. Um, I have changed my mind. I see now, half of a Kaubi, a Leoba. I have a very crucial meeting with the woman now. Yes, with our kinsman. And this is concerning those years' strange decision to sell off their own portion of our ancestral land. Yes. Hey, no, no, Left to me, eh? I would say you should have a rethink about this whole issue. Dusier is old enough to know what is good for him. If he resolves to sell the land to raise money, so be it. Will you shut up? I can perceive you have no sense at all. In fact, I know the reason this boy is misbehaving this way. The reason is not far-fetched. It is because I have no son. Hey, ah, uh -uh, Papa. Don't you think you're blowing this matter out of proportion? But that Dusier is not a child, Papa. Whatever thing he wants to do, he must have his reason. You two can attest to all the help and support he gives to me each time I call him from school. Will you shut up? Stupid girl. Why be so selfish? We are talking about a serious matter at hand. And you are talking about uh, how he was give, uh, giving you this and that at school. Nonsense. By the way, who even invited you in this matter? Who requested your opinion here? I'm asking you. Nonsense. A woman. I am off, like I said. And I will soon come back. Make sure the food is ready before I come back. I won't spend much time there. Are you hearing me? Choma! Choma! Bachana yayo! Bachana yayo! Mama, Papa is blending this whole thing out of proportion. It's too much. Ha ha! But I don't say it's not a baby. Even mm. that much you go. Even that gri 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 it's too much, Pico. Uh-uh! Hey! So I said I am not interested. Is it my fault? Agnes, I'm sorry if it feels like I'm stalking you. I can't get you off my mind. I love you with every bit of my heart. All I ask is a little chance to profit. Victor, you're a nice guy. Everyone knows that. But my heart belongs to another. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. See, Agnes. I am willing to take care of you. Give you and your mom the best of life that you deserve. You know what? We're not doing this now. I have somewhere to go. Please don't leave me. We are made for each other, baby. Don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Ah, hello, hey, Buka. Where are you rushing to? I'm going to meet my uncle to talk to him about my brother's decision to sell the family's land. Yeah. And I'm not comfortable with that. Why? <laughs> are you serious? Eh? See, let me tell you. I was the one that advised your brother, Dozier, to sell that land. Yes, and send you overseas. What are you talking about? Eh? Or are you not tired of this village? See, I am tired though. I am, but... But why me? I mean, he's my elder brother, so if anybody should be the one making this travel move, it should be him, not me. <laughs> Ebuka. Ebuka, shine your eyes. Eh? Do not miss this God-given opportunity that comes but once. You hear me? I advise you start getting ready and uh, prepare your minds mentally, psychologically, you know what I mean, to travel overseas. Eh? I have gotten some buyers to pay for that land. Eh? You heard me? So, please 
do not delay your own destiny with your hands. You want to go? Uh -huh. This is what I have to say. Uh -huh. um, I will talk to you later. Uh -huh. I'll see you later. I think about it too. Think about it. Come back here. Come back here. Mama, stop this now. Stop it. What is your problem? Huh? Mama, the decision is for everybody. It is in our best interest. Don't you understand? Dozier, I have told you, this is not the right thing to do. You have chosen to be adamant. Why? Mama, your sons escaped death over a week ago. I'm doing everything possible to ensure that it doesn't happen again. I am still not comfortable with all this whole thing. Huh? We have been living in peace with your uncle ever since your father died. You can't just reel the whole thing because of your decision. My mind is made up. And nothing is going to change it. I'm doing this for Ebuka. I'm doing this for all of us. We can't keep living in hardship. Is it because your father is no more? Chitose, if your father is still alive, would you do Mama, this? Mama, don't ever mention that name here again. His failure as a father is what kept us where we are today. Chidoze, please come back. Don't do this, please. <sighs> Agnes! Agnes! Mama! Why are you going with that food class? I am taking food to my friend. You are taking food to your friend? Agnes, I'm so ashamed of you. Me why don't know when get better. Your mates are there in the field working hard to make sure that their families are better. But you are here looking for someone to feed with my own food, Agnes. Eh? Mama, where is all this coming from? And when has it become a crime to take food to my sick friend? Not just any friend. Dozier. Eh? Our Dozier. Dozier. You are who Dozier? You will soon find out the answer to this question. By the time I am fully out for you, <laughs> you will know. Oh yeah, carry the food go and give to your less privileged boyfriend, Mother Teresa. Huh? Go now. God the angry. So Paul brought the buyers to me yesterday. We have concluded on the price. They like the land and they are willing to buy. And I've also contacted an agent to help with Ibuka's travel documents. Look, there's nothing wrong with setting your brother up. But this isn't quite appropriate to me. You're the first son. You should be the one making the move, uh, not Ebuka. My love, I've thought about it. And I think Ebuka stands a better advantage. He has good academic qualification. Besides, I've always known him to be a very good boy. Not just good, he's also very smart. And don't forget, nothing is happening in this country. So I strongly believe he's going to excel when he gets there. So let him go. And what about you? You intend to remain a motor packed out, sir, worker, isn't it? No, my love, not at all. I don't intend to remain a motor park worker. 
I intend to start up a business with part of the money realized from the sale of the land. I'm not just okay with this whole idea. I was thinking that this would be a major breakthrough for you. For us. My mother is beginning to mount pressure on me to accept Victor's marriage proposal. I'm getting sick about that. Agnes, I totally understand you. But trust me when I say this is going to work. Uh, you, you had better work out too. You had better work out. to tell me that you're coming. <laughs> huh? sorry, man. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, well, I've been calling Agnes since morning. She wasn't picking her call. So I decided to come around to check her. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. So, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you, Mama. I sent her on an errand. Okay. She will soon be back. Okay. Okay? Once again, you're welcome. Thank you, Mama. Please join me in the house and wait for her. Okay. Hmm? Come in. Mama, how are you doing? You can see I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Why not let me wait under the tree? Ah. Hey, don't worry. It's better under the tree, Mama. Ah. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, Mama. Ah. My dear, it bothers me so much. Chidozi has never disobeyed me before. And the, now the information spreading about is that I am the one masterminding the idea of him selling his own portion of land. How? How can I do a thing like that? Why would that bother you? Why are you agitated over what people are saying? Moreover, Doze is man enough to take decisions for himself. What you have to do now is to pray so that his plans will work. But why before us? Forget about what people are saying. Amen, oh. Amen. I've been praying and I know that God will answer me. But another thing that is bothering me the most is your husband. Yeah. I don't know how to handle who can do your husband. The other day, I saw him at the market square. I greeted him, but he never answered me. Yeah. What can do him can be like that? Eh? He can be like that. See, what matters most is that Ebuka and uh, Dozier loves themselves so much. They are very, very affectionate about each other. Eh? And I trust them. They will move this family forward. So it's very important now. And I pray you continue to pray for them. Mm. Back them up with prayer. Yes, so. Eh? I've been trying my best. I am doing it. Eh? I believe that God Almighty will surely see me through one Amen. day. Um, my dear, what I want is for our family to be happy once again. And we will. Hmm? By God's grace, we will wrap up. Thank you, you so much. Anything for you. I don't know what I could have done without you. Ah. Thank you. Um, I appreciate. No problem. Thank you so much. No Thank you. My son, you have seen the thing is even drying my skin. <laughs> <laughs> but not so much. It's the season anyway. I don't like that. Well, we are human beings. When it's raining season again, you see you don't like it. Oh, oh, here she is. Oh. Welcome, Agnes. I've been calling you since morning. You weren't picking your call. So I decided to come around first some time with you. Ma, hmm? what is wrong with her? Is she okay? She, um, she, she's fine, my, my son. It's one of those women monthly wahala. You understand now? Eh? She's been like that. Please, uh, uh, she will be. She, she's okay. No problem. Eh? She's very, very fine. This way. Uh, yes. You may go now. Eh? I, 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 I will, I will talk to her. Go. Just go. She will even be the one to call you back. Okay? 
Yes, for your upkeep, anyways. All this for me. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, my son. Agnes. Agnes. What was the meaning of that show you put up out there? Huh? Mama, he should read the handwriting, clear everything on the wall. He's not welcome here. And I'm sure he understands it. Agnes, you are out of your mind. So you have now signed blood covenant with poverty, Agnes. Eh? To the extent that you now parade yourself in the entire community with a, a village doubt. Motor packed out for that matter. Eh? Mama, call him whatever you like. But he is ten times the man Victor will never be. Please, I do not have strength for this conversation. Sit down there and hear what I want to say. Come back here, Agnes! Hey. I've lost a daughter. Agnes wants to practice that love, love novels she normally read in my own house. Forgetting that I'm the one that breastfed her. It's my breast that she sucked. Now she has grown so much that she doesn't want to listen to my, my advice. You will come back here and meet me. Oh. You will go and come back here and meet me. I'm waiting for you. Paul, I really want to thank you for making this happen. So I've sent money for Ibuka's travel documents and he'll be going to Canada very soon. Hmm. That's a good news. You see, this is the best decision you made for your family. Forget about the critics. Soon they will come applauding when this whole thing starts yielding fruit. Well, I understand you, but I'm not sure Agnes is happy about my decision. Uh, she feels that I should have given myself you know, the opportunity as opposed to sending Ebuka to Canada and staying behind. <laughs> Does he forget about Agnes? No woman should compromise the bond you have with your first family. It is very, very important. Bikokwa. Well, I, I don't think Agnes is that type of a woman. She's only insecure. Which woman wouldn't want her man to be the source of wealth in his extended family? Tell me, which woman? Forget about how she feels for now. And let's stay focused. Eh? You know, sometimes I wonder how you coexist with your women. You're very stiff. You need to be flexible. Women are soft. You need to be a bit romantic with them. Please don't go there. Forget me. Eh? Talking about romance, see, I have a piece of advice for you. It is high time you stopped your brother Ebuka from seeing that worthless girl in Mecca. That girl is possessive. Nothing good, I mean nothing good comes out of that girl. For his own good though, ha. Ah. Hello. I called for this meeting to inform both of you that I have sold the family land. Yes. I used part of the money to pay an agent for Ibuka's travel document. I intend to keep some of the money for my new business and give you the rest for your upkeep. Brother, thank you so much. God bless you. I am very, very grateful for everything you have been doing for this family, even before now. May God in heaven, who sees what we do in secret, reward you abundantly. Mama, 
I totally understand your worries. But I want to assure you that I will never be a rebellious son to you. Everything I'm doing is for the growth of this family. Thank you so much. It is my wish to see both of you succeed and enjoy that which my late husband and I could not give to you. If selling the ancestral land will brighten the future of this home, so be it. You've tried. Mama, I'm glad we understand each other. In other words, we're on the same page. Thank you very much. Ibuka, I need a favor from you. It is time to stay away from that worthless girl called Neka. Please. Yes, my son. You are right. Tell him. I don't know if that girl has tied his brain somewhere. I can't. I can't. I don't know. Ah, uh, Mama. How can you say a thing like that? It's not a crime to be in love with a woman. Will you shut up? Shut up and listen to your brother. No, Mama, Buka. We're not debating this. You have to do what I asked you to do. Mama, in two weeks' time, Chukwe Buka will be on his way to Obodo Ibo. Hey! I am so happy! That boy is so blessed. And I put. Hey! How many times have I warned you to stay clear? To stay away from those, those rebellious boys. But you refuse to hear me. Papa, how do you expect me to stay away from the only brothers I have? And when was so Will you stop your mouth? Shut up! How dare you talk while I'm talking? What do you know? Huh? Choma? What do you know? Now get inside the house. Get inside the house! Nah, your girl is eh? Those boys are her brothers. Oh, so one no well. It's often how can you talk to that girl like that? Map you are all woman. Map you are all woman. Nonsense woman. This is what you teach my daughter. This is what you teach her. I give her simple instruction, and you are the one asking her not to obey my instructions. What's wrong with you? Naya, you are leaving me with one option. Just one option. Send you on holidays to your father to go there and stay for, for all I care for eternity. And I take my time and marry a woman that should be obedient and respectful to me. No sense. Don't worry. Mu oh! Nasibo! Nasibo for what? Get out! Why for flying? Don't bless you. Don't bless you. Those boys are brothers. Oh, for whom one no one. Where was? Ah ah! She ought to be happy that they are they are they are progressing. Oh 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 oh! Oh, brother, you better tell them what they have. Eh? Come on, get the one. Come. <laughs> what? Babe, mm -hmm. I want you to tell me the truth. Did you tell anybody about my brother's plan to send me to Canada? No. Why do you ask? It's nothing. It's just that it's confidential for now. I don't want anybody to know about it. My family don't want anybody to know about it. You know, to avoid it getting into the ears of our enemies. So, baby, you seriously want to travel and leave me here? Mm. So, you want to travel and start enjoying life with those white girls? <sighs> and by the time you come back and make it big, your mother and brother must have, must have gotten a new girl for oh, you. Come on, baby, you know that can never happen. I can never leave you for any girl in this world, okay? See, me, I know what you want to do. In fact, I know what your brother wants. He wants to separate us. I know he hates me with passion. You see, my brother does not hate you, okay? You just need to understand him. You see? That is my problem with you. Your brother is always deciding your life. You never see anything wrong with that. Well, my own business make you sure they send me money. Because me, I need money for upkeep. Ah, it's okay, you know? My money is your money. In fact, I'll give you my eight here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
no, no, you leave me all alone in this village. Ah, I'll just be okay, lonely. Man. I know these people don't like it's me. Okay. I'll be calling you every day. Hi, Lantern. <sighs> Dozier, your cousin is planning on sending his younger brother abroad. That was what I had from my daughter, too. Uh, yes, I had it from her. You mean they did not inform you first? What were you thinking? I have become their arch enemy. Enemy number one. Ah. Simply because I stood against their selling their ancestral land. That's all. Hmm. What if also? Mm -hmm. Who can do? I think uh, your nephew has a good reason for selling their own portion of their land. If you ask me, and to think of it, then they can acquire more lands. If their plan turns out successful, they can get more land. Uh, it seems, in a sudden, hmm? it's a good in a sudden. You don't even understand my point of grief. You want to live in a in a in a in a those times where I am pained most. Those boys did what they did simply because they want to make mockery of me. Why? Why? For not being able to have a male child. Mm -hmm. That is it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are taking this thing out of proportion. Yes, you and I know that is not true. You know it. Dozier and his brother have always acknowledged you. They love you. Bodo, mm -hmm. on whose side are you now? Because I can see you talking from both sides of your mouth. On whose side are you? Are you on the side of these boys? The way they make mockery of me, disobey me, eh? and treat anything concerning me with utmost disrespectfulness. What's wrong with you? What, what are you even talking about? Eh? Are you trying to justify your actions? Nzekwe, were you paid to, to say what you are saying now? I can't do it. Talk to me, I said, were you paid to say what you are just telling me now? You better calm yourself down. Calm yourself down. You seem to know about the family more than I do. What's wrong? Eh? They sent you to also add Short to the injury, I already sustained. Where's the injury? Let me tell you the truth. Eh? Let me just respect you because you came to me. If this were to be on the road, I would have told you who I am. In fact, you're not saying nothing. Ah, nonsense. No interrogation. CID, this is what. Go and tell them that you didn't see it. Are you in a hurry to somewhere? Is there any problem? Paul, there's a problem. Okay, Nekwa. See, Paul, I know that you are good friends with my brother and that he listens to you. Please, can you talk to him for me? I don't understand why my brother hates Nekwa so much. Tell him to accept Nekwa as my woman because the way my mother and my brother despise that lady is unbearable. Ebuka, is that why you agitated? Yes! <laughs> Ebuka, again, listen. I have told you times without number. Mm. To live your life as an adult. You are a grown up man for crying out loud. You know your brother does, he has this domineering attitude. He always wants to tell people what to do and what not to do. Eh, but soon you will leave this country to Obodo Yibo. And I wish you all the best. Mm? By God's grace, you will make all the money there in Obodo Yibo. By then, let me see how your brother Dozier eh, will want to control you to tell you, Ebuka, hey, sit down. Ebuka, hey, stand up. Ebuka, hey, menka. Ebuka, hey, melenka. Calm down. Do you understand? You know, when you want something, you behave like Mumu, Mugu. You know how Mugus they behave now? Eh? In Agua Hoku, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you need something. 
right now concentrate hmm? don't get distracted okay uh, you know you are my guy now <laughs> i will give you the best advice i even <laughs> you're, you're, you're closer to me than anyone else in this <laughs> my guy so oh, relax. You, know, you are more than a friend of your like family i know i know no that's problem. why i'm telling you everything so that you can still talk to my brother for me no, Allah, I will talk to him. Eh? I will talk to him. But see, let me tell you, I've been thinking of because I know eh, when you go over there now, you will forget your, your guy, Polo. Don't forget me. Oh. It's not possible. Ah, eh? <laughs> it's only one Polo no. we have in this whole kindred. No, 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 no. Don't forget it's me. It's not oh. possible. Uh -huh. ah, no, Wahala. No, Wahala, because uh, you know. When you people leave this country now to Obodo you will you now go there and forget your real homies. Forget your guy. Sorry. Please. Sorry for everything. Look, I've warned him. And I promise it's not going to happen again. Agnes, it's not just about Victor coming to ridicule me. It's also about your mother going to confront my mother. Against me coming close to you. My goodness. How come I'm just hearing that for the first time? That was... That's too much. Please, don't go confronting your mother about this. It will only make her hate me the more. I have an idea. What could that be? 